Bigfoot Elliot and Ingram Smith return with the 22 Stone Knoll Cast episode of 2018. The Knoll Cast is the number one Florida State Seminoles podcast. Send in the player below this article, or on Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Play Music opening drive recruiting notes, and a lot of them. Reader questions and buy or sell, we do not have time to edit these questions. They are posted how they come to us, when your coach is allowed to start coaching and interacting with commits who are not early enrollees in the spring. For example, when can players who you believe will be first-year contributors such as Trey Sean Harrison and Xavier Peters receive playbooks? Or are coaches not allowed to interact with non-early enrollees until they're on campus in the fall? What exactly have you heard about Taggart's approach to the camps he will be hosting, skills camp, running backs, linebackers camp, and big man camp? For the 7-on-7 camp, do you see teams from across the country, X? Ground Zero, coming to play in this event or mainly just teams from the Southeast? Or just anything you have heard how this camp will be run or how the coaches plan on utilizing it from a recruiting standpoint? I remember reading about Taggart considering a barbecue, cookout event for recruits and their families, similar to the one Clemson. And other programs do, any word on if this is happening? If so, when and do you think you will try to get a good amount of former players to attend this event? I was heading back to Atlanta from a wedding in Florida this weekend and passed Lowndes High while listening to another great podcast. It got me thinking of a fun hypothetical. If you could only recruit out of one HS in every state, obviously, only the main recruiting states, FL, TX, GA, LA, AL, BA, CA, etc., which would you choose? Florida was damn near impossible to pick St. Thomas Aquinas, Emo. In that same vein, if you could only recruit out of one city in each state, what would it be? Buy or sell? 2018 will be the low water mark in terms of wins for a CWT coached Knowles team. Asterisk 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 barring a Jimbo S final season with injuries at key positions and almost the entire coaching staff quitting on the team on their way out the door. Can someone explain to me why FSU dropped out of the way too early top 25 rankings on ESPN after the spring? They also dropped in the CBS Sports rankings to number 24 leaving the Gators with the higher ranking. I believe most people who follow FSU heavily left the spring mostly positive and highly satisfied. I wonder why outsiders think FSU got worse. Is it that that Francois is the media favorite and he is unlikely to win the start job? This will be my fifth season following the NoCast. Since starting law school two years ago, it has essentially been my only source of FSUV news, and I have never felt behind or otherwise out of the loop. I look forward to the hour or so I budget for you guys each week, and I appreciate that you tell us like it is, don't sugarcoat things, and most importantly don't waste precious time trying to pump sunshine. Thanks for a great product and keep up the great work. Listener has some questions about Dion, Under Armour, and Camps, I was curious to know if you all have noticed a new spirit and enthusiasm in the Knoll Nation? Is it more than the honeymoon with a new coach? Is Coach Taggart just the right guy at the right time? Is there a chemistry thing going on? Like Louisiana hot sauce and a favorite dish. Does Willie Taggart Jr., being in a class of 2020 QB, hurt the Seminoles' chances with top QBs for 20 and 21? Buy or sell, if college baseball and college football had the postseason format throughout the 90s that exists today, football would have at least two more titles and baseball would have at least one. Buy or sell, Florida State reclaiming the state on the field and in recruiting over the next three seasons, over Florida and Miami, how much of an impact with this new coaching staff in years two and three of their regime? Is it possible that we might be looking at a third dynasty or will Willie be laying the foundation for the next coach to take over? If Willie gets that call from the Tampa Buccaneers in five to seven years after a successful run at FSU does Walt Bell get the call to take over? Buy or sell, Bud should have went to Florida State for law school.